So a number of years ago, almost 18 years ago, I fell off the roof. I broke my ankle and uh, it was really a life defining moment for me because it caused me to ask questions. Uh, it uh, made it hard for me to make a living. That affects your dignity. It uh, made it very difficult for me to do the things I love. And even after a surgical repair in the ankle, my knee wasn't functioning correctly. I went to physical therapy that my first uh, visit there made it actually worse. So I'm looking for answers and I found somebody who was uh, familiar with the Feldenkrais method. And the Feldenkrais method, for anybody that doesn't know, Moshe Feldenkrais was a brilliant uh, pioneer in neuroplasticity. And he developed a method originally for the purpose of healing his own horrendous knee injury. And that method, uh, the two components and the ones that helped me were awareness through movement lessons. And the second physical therapist I I went to actually took me through some brief awareness through movement lessons. And functional integration then is the one-on-one -on -one work with the Feldenkrais method. And it's all about, uh, it's all about a process, a learning process that we've been talking about and with self-awareness. And it's a, it's a sensory motor learning process. And with myself, I find that on my right and left sides are so different that nobody was going to be able to give me a quick tip on how to use my knee better. So, uh, you know, you go through the Feldenkrais uh, awareness through movement lessons, and what happens is you may be lying on the floor for 45 minutes exploring various different uh, movements. And that does a couple things. When you lie on the floor, you eliminate the influence of gravity and you're able to be sensitive to things that you never would have been before. The other thing it does is after you've spent 45 minutes paying deep attention to yourself and the way you move, you, are, you just open yourself up into a brand new world of self-awareness. And in fact, that world can be carried into standing activities and even uh, in running and doing other, you know, more active activities. So you need both for the greatest sensitive sensitivity and for, for some of the things you couldn't learn any other way, you lie on the floor, but you actually can take that whole, that whole, whole sense of self-awareness into running. And so you have a little bit of a niggle with running, a little bit of a problem. And what happens is, uh, the next day you, you feel kind of off somewhere and you can all, you can, for myself, I find I can, I can recreate, I can remember exactly what was going on in my body when I was doing so-and-so and I can usually make a, make a change.